Hi everyone, let's work through a very brief uh, demonstration on transfer price transfer pricing using the general transfer pricing rule. Now the rule appears at the bottom here and basically the general transfer pricing rule to follow which maximizes profits for uh, the enterprise and also does um, a real good job in terms of uh, an economic approach to making sure that the organization has goal c congruence, which means everyone is maximizing profits and acting in their own best interest, and it's um, it, that's from a divisional perspective or a strategic business unit perspective, and the end result is the uh, the organization as a whole will maximize profits as well. So the general rule is you would set a transfer price equal to the additional outlay cost per incurred and usually that translates to your variable cost per unit and then you would add in any oppor opportunity cost per unit and what that means is you would add in the margin for gone uh, had you sold whatever uh, it is goods or services um, you had sold to an external party okay well let's look at the example Milwaukee uh, Metallurgy Corporation has two divisions, a fabricating division and an assembly division. And the fabricating division has a standard variable production cost of $450. Now, in the first case, we'll look at the situation where there's no excess capacity and it does have the opportunity to sell the $450 uh, uh, per unit cost to an outside buyer for $570 per unit and we're assuming it's a perfectly competitive market okay well let's tackle that um, so let's tackle the first one um, what's our additional outlay cost per unit incurred well the best information we have in this problem is the standard variable production cost so the standard variable production cost is, uh, per unit anyway is equal to four hundred and fifty dollars okay let's turn that into a dollar sign and get rid of get rid of cents we don't need that now let's take a look at the second part the opportunity cost okay well we know that um, they could have sales of five hundred and seventy dollars right uh, let's again use the same formatting technique And their standard uh, variable production cost has already been given from above, so we'll just reference that cell right there. That's $450, and the end result would be the contribution margin. And this is the contribution margin foregone, since they could sell it to someone else. So that's $120. Okay, put $120 there. And uh, what we have in requirement one then is the transfer price using the general rule. And how we derive that is we take 450 plus the opportunity cost, and the answer is uh, $570. I'll bold that so we know that that's the answer. Now, let's look at part two. Why don't I type in requirement? And as you see, uh, I have a formula where I've already put in how we derive this. We need to again add in the standard variable production cost. And that's equal to $450. Now, under part two, we've said, what if there's no excess capacity? Well, I'm sorry, I said that incorrectly. What if there is excess capacity? Well, if we have excess capacity, then uh, there is no opportunity cost. There's no one else to sell it to. So that's the right answer. But why don't I go ahead and, uh, and, and show it using the general rule in completion. The opportunity cost would be zero because there's excess capacity. And if we sum from above, format that, like that, underline that. Um, format that the same way. Oh, that's all right. And uh, that would be our transfer price using the general rule as well. And this would be with excess capacity. Okay, that's uh, a brief demonstration of how we would apply a general transfer pricing rule. Thanks, everyone.